In episode 1, we looked at some of the Gaelic place names and families relating to Ulster. Now we continue our journey into the province of Munster. It is called Muon in Gaelic and was once a great federation of kingdoms famous for music, harp players, horsemen and its fairs. We begin in the rebel county of Cork, which was known by the earlier name of Cork and Morna Muon, the Great Marsh of Munster. With humble origins, Cork would rise up from a marshy estuary and establish itself as a great city on the rushing waters of the River Lee. Along with much of County Kerry and Limerick, Cork once made up part of the Kingdom of Desmond, from Gasmuon, meaning South Munster. Historically, the principal families here were the McCarthys, the O'Sullivans and the O'Brien clans, and later the Norman Fitzgeralds, Butlers and the Clares, along with others. As territories in those days were drawn upon different boundary lines than our modern Irish counties, there is naturally some overlap in which families feature most prominently in different areas across time. In Cork, the town of Fermoy derives its name from the Gaelic Farmoy, meaning men of the plains. It was principally the royal seat of the O'Keefe clan, but areas were also held by the O'Duggans prior to the Norman invasion would later be held by the Norman Roach family and become known colloquially as Roach's County. Similarly, we have the town of Barrymore in Cork, deriving its name from the Norman Barry family. In the hills of the Lee Valley in West Cork, we find the typically picturesque village of Inchigila. In Gaelic, it is called Inchigiolach, meaning Island of the Hostages, said to derive from a period during the 10th or 11th centuries when Danish Viking raiders were imprisoned on a natural island on the nearby River Lee. The village is also referred to by its other Gaelic name, Uvleary or Eidleary, meaning the land of the O'Leary clan. Having been dispossessed of their traditional homelands in Ross Carberry during the Norman conquests, the O'Leary clan moved and settled primarily in Inchigila, but also further along the Lee Valley around the year 1192. They would later build Carignacura Castle in Inchigila as the focal point of the family's power and the seat of family chieftains. It remains today a site of pilgrimage for many O'Leary descendants who celebrate a clan reunion in the town each year. Moving next to Tipperary, meaning Tubbard or On. Its place name derives from a local river called the Arra, which is in turn named from an ancient territory known as Tir Arra, or Arad, or Gal Carberry Arad once ruled by the O'Donoghan clan, and from which the nearby Schlieven Ara or Ara Mountains are also named. Whenever we see the turbid prefix in Gaelic place names, it signifies a well or a fresh spring. Taken together with Arad, Tipperary signifies the well of the river in the land of Ara. St. Patrick is also associated with this area as the site where he converted a 5th century pagan king of Munster, Angus MacMuffraic. As the primary seat of the Munster High Kings and many High Kings of Ireland, it was also known as Cashel Marie or Castle of the Kings. Next we'll take a look at Limerick. Many of Limerick's key families descend from the Yonach race, notably the Uffiganty Sept, and include names such as Lyons, O'Collins, O'Hurley, McSheehy, O'Donovan, O'Gorman, O'Flannery and O'Scanlan, among others. During Northern times, the Burke family grew to prominence and had a stronghold in Clan William, named from the Clan William Burke branch of the family. Previously this territory was held by the Ryan clan, who had themselves obtained it from the O'Heffernans. We continue our journey into Waterford. Waterford's Gaelic place name is among the few Irish county names that bear no relationship with the modern English form. In Old Irish, Waterford is known as Port Larry, or Larrick's Port and Waterford was even anglicised to Port Laga for a time. It derives its current name, however, from the Old Norse Vodreford, meaning either Ramford or Windy Fjord, after a Viking settlement on the banks of the Shur estuary was established around the year 853 AD. Waterford is also still called the Desis or Andysi, after the centre of a great medieval Irish kingdom consisting of a large network of Munster sects who control several territories between them. 
its chief Gaelic families were the O'Whelan and the O'Brick clans until the coming of the Normans in 1177, after which the Power or Le Power family held prominence. The second last county on this trip is County Kerry, which in Ireland is rendered as Kerry. So therefore Kerry means the tribe of Kerr, who is the one of dark appearance. Kerr was a tribal chieftain and son of the mighty Fergus MacRoach, a legendary character from the cattle raid of Cooley from the Ulster Cycle of Irish Mythology, one of Ireland's great heroic sagas. At the time of the Norman invasions, Kerry's principal families included the O'Sullivan, O'Donoghue, O'Mahony clans in the south, the O'Moriarty clan in the mid-regions and the O'Connors in the north. The McCarthys were another prominent clan who held power here in the centuries prior to the 1100s. The last Gaelic king of Kerry was Cormac McCarthy. In Kerry's Dingle Peninsula, we find the small town of Cork Aguini, deriving its name from Cork Aguini, meaning the descendants of Duivni. It was the seat of the O'Falvey chieftains for about 500 years until the 17th century. The O'Shea clan also feature prominently here, but they were noted chiefs of Rahok or Ivory clan Morris, Clan Morris, meaning Morris's clan, which bears the marks of Morris Fitzthomas Fitzgerald, a Norman noble after whom it was renamed from its earlier name of Altry. County Kerry allegedly received its nickname the Kingdom when in 1787 a member of Parliament for the Irish House of Commons described it as its own separate kingdom, quote, for it seemed absolutely not a part of the same country, end quote. The people of Kerry took this as somewhat of a compliment. Finally, we travel north as the crow flies until we reach County Clare, where the Gaelic word clar usually refers to a plain, but it also means a board or a plank. So the place name is assumed to derive from a plank bridge once situated close to Ennis, which allowed for crossing the River Fergus. It earned its nickname the Banner County from the banners flown here in 1828 in support of the Catholic emancipator Daniel O'Connell. Clare made up part of the Gaelic Kingdom of Thomond, from Tuamun, meaning North Munster. This territory was predominantly ruled by the O'Briens and included Limerick and parts of Tipperary. The O'Briens in turn descended from the Dalcassians, a dynastic race which rose to prominence around the 3rd century AD and who were the progenitors of many great Munster families. In addition to the O'Briens, the McNamaras, the O'Hearns of East Clare, the O'Kennedys and the O'Shanahans all descended from this race. Other prominent but non-Dalcassian clans include the O'Loughlins and the O'Connors. The last High King of Ireland was Rory O'Connor around the years 1116 to 1198. So this concludes the second in this four-part series. Don't forget to tune in next time where we will look at Ireland's eastern province of Leinster and explore some of the Gaelic place names and families associated there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be the first to hear when I upload new videos. Slán agus Goodbye and thanks.